Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today. Did you know that there is a really quick and easy way to create free ringtones from your own audio files to use on your iPhone or your iPad just by using GarageBand for iOS, which is a free application? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's go. Okay, so this is gonna be very quick and very easy. Here we are in GarageBand on the iPhone and you can do the same on the iPad. Now, if you don't have GarageBand iOS installed, just go to App Store, search for GarageBand, download and you'll be installed and the first screen you will see when you install is this screen here and all we need to do is hit on create document and here we are we're creating a new song but all we want to do here is go over to our audio recorder so by just sliding our screen to the right and tap on the big microphone icon and this will take us into a brand new track now from here we just want to tap on the tracks icon which is the third from the left on the top here and that will take us into our tracks view where we can start importing our audio files and before we do import our audio files we need to tap on the little plus icon here in the top right because if we don't have this section set to automatic it will only import eight bars or the first section of our audio file so we're going to tap where it says eight bars we're going to tap on automatic and then we're gonna tap on the plus button again. And now when we import our audio file, it will import the entire file, not just the first section. Okay, to import our file, we tap on the loops icon here in the top right. And from here, we can go into Apple Loops, but what we're interested in is our audio files. So if we tap the next tab here, it will go to audio files. And if we tap the browse items from the files app at the bottom here, we can now import files from iCloud Drive, OneDrive, Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, or any of our uh, any of our cloud-based storage solutions. So if we have a file stored somewhere, we can import it here and then drag it into our project. But the quickest and simplest way is to use our own music. So if we tap on the music tab here, we now have our albums, our artists, our genres, our playlists, and our songs from our music app. So these are any tracks that we've imported via iTunes or that we've purchased via the iTunes store that are here on this device. Now for me, I have some playlists here. So I'm gonna tap on playlist and I'm gonna go into my local music playlist. I'm gonna choose one of my own songs here. So let's grab this song. This is my song called College. I'm going to tap and hold. And then all I need to do is drag this onto this first track and then release my finger and it will import that song ready to create our ringtone. And here is our song imported into GarageBand. Now, what I wanna do is create a ringtone from this song. So to do that, I need to go out of here. We're gonna tap in the top left here, and we're gonna to go to My Songs, and this will take us out of the GarageBand track and back into our main menu here. Now, what I like to do is just tap here, which is right on the name, delete that. So let's name this one College and Ringtone, and hit Done. And there is our track ready to export. So now we need to tap on the select button in the top right corner here, hit the little button inside there to tick it. And then down the bottom here on the left, we have this little export icon, which we're gonna tap now. And now we can export this track as a song, a ringtone or a project. We're gonna hit the middle option here for a ringtone. So it's asked us to name the ringtone. We're gonna leave it as college ringtone and hit the export button and it will now export our ringtone onto this iPhone. And there we go, our export was successful. I can now use this sound as by tapping on this button here, and now I can set it as my standard ringtone, my standard text tone, or I can assign it to a specific contact. Let's tap my standard ringtone. And that is it, the next time my phone rings, it will ring with this track. And keeping copyright in mind, you can use any track that you have on your phone to be your ringtone. So if you've got a song in your iTunes library, or if you've imported a song from your iTunes on your PC or your Mac, then you can import that into GarageBand, export it as a ringtone, and use that for your ringtone, or your text tone, or your email tone, or any other tones here on your iPhone. And finally, here we are in our settings. So if we go into our settings and go to sounds, we can see that we have this ringtone, our college ringtone as our ringtone. And we can set this as our ringtone, our text, our voicemail, our mail, our sent mail, our calendar alerts, reminder alerts, or airdrop tones right here in our iPhone settings.
And there you have it. What a cool application GarageBand for iOS is, not just for making ringtones, but for creating music. And if you want to learn all about how to create your own music and use audio files here in GarageBand, you can check out all of the links that I have on my channel at studiolivetoday.com. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.